When we speed edit videos, our clients almost always ask, how do we add captions like Gary V or this guy or this guy or her? Stay until the end and I'll show you exactly how. And no, you don't need a computer or fancy professional editing software. You just need to know that learning how to use captions to increase engagement is a great skill to have because experts claim that 92% of mobile users don't watch videos with audio. And captions done correctly will guarantee more attention and more engagement. And if you can get someone to consistently stop what they're doing because your videos consistently capture their attention, you will win. Think about the consumer, those watching the content. When they see patterns like similar rows of text over and over again, it gets kind of boring, which means they'll click off. Versus, if they see captioned text on a video, but maybe the angle is off by about two degrees, or there's an emoji or a color change, the consumer's mind will automatically and subconsciously be more engaged, which leads to more attention. If your goal for your videos is to get the viewer to watch the full length of the video and take up your call to action, do this. Download the CapCut app. It's available on Android and iOS. Now, open the CapCut app and select New Project. Choose your clips and add them to your project timeline. On the bottom menu bar, select text and then auto captions. Typically, you'll select original sound, but if you've added any additional voiceovers, you want to include that in the captioning. You can select both or just the voiceover. Now, press continue and CapCut will quickly auto-generate your captions. Spell check. For similar fonts that Russell Brunson or Gary Vaynerchuk use, go to Google, type in the bold font and download that to your phone. With the bold font downloaded to your phone, open CapCut, select text, and then select the font. With font selected, click the plus sign to the right of the languages. Search and find the bold font, select it, and then import it. When done correctly, you should be able to select the bold font under import font to the left of the languages in the font section of the app. Now that you can use the bold font, you're going to want to adjust the size and style of your closed captions. Take note. When you make changes to the style in these brown text sections in the sequence, you will be making adjustments to all the other closed captions. So it's very important to follow this process. First, let's pinpoint how we want the closed captions to look. For that Gary V type look, select a brown text clip, go to style, then select font. After you've selected font, go to import font and select the bold font. Next, select style. Typically, we keep white as the text base color, stroke is black, and increase stroke thickness to 60. Shadow is optional, but I suggest a black shadow and just leave the settings as default. Spacing is where you can control the size of the text. We are pretty comfortable around the 60 scale for the text. Character and line, you can leave the same, but feel free to make adjustments. Just remember, whatever style adjustments you make to the brown closed captions will affect the style of all other closed captions in the sequence. If that's a problem, just hold on and I'll show you how to overcome that. Now that we have a general idea of how big we would like the text to appear, we need to actually adjust the captions so that they fit in each frame. What I'll do is go through and make sure that only three to five words fit at a time. This will keep the flow of new pattern interrupts frequent. A little trick that I like to do is set up the captions for the split. So in this caption, I'll go ahead and space out. And as you can see, there's a couple more words that dangle over that won't fit in the frame. So I'll actually go and double space this and get it prepped because what we're going to do is split the caption at the correct place. Now that we have these two sections here, I'm going to split at the end of this word and go ahead and delete the extra words. For those of you that are new to this, you might be thinking, oh my gosh, this is so tedious. But trust me, from what we used to have to do manually transcribing or coordinating with different services to get the words transcribed and closed captions, it's a time-intensive process. But with CapCut and some practice, it has never been easier to make personalized and totally custom closed captions for higher engagement for your videos. So here's some additional tips and hacks that I think you'll want to know. Number one, how to change the closed caption style without changing the style for all the closed captions. Here's a couple workarounds. Here, highlight and press hold to select the edit style menu. This is critical if you want to use one of the best pattern interrupts. That's leveraging color. I typically will use this red, yellow, or green as a good attention grabber. And next, you can create a master text section that you can use as a template. If you want to keep viewers more engaged for longer, change the angle of a caption by two to three degrees every so often. With the master template, you can split the section where the caption should start and end. Adjust the angle, paste your text, and now you don't have to worry about adjusting the angle for the rest of the captions. Just copy the words from your caption in the brown section into the section of the master text section that you split. For more secrets on speed editing, subscribe or go to k.tv.